50% of the United States is under the ocean, and yet we have better maps of Mars. So our job is to find out what we own and then see how that can help us in what we call the blue economy. My name is Dr. Robert Ballard, and I'm an explorer in residence for the National Geographic Society, and I'm president of the Ocean Exploration Trust. My interest in underwater exploration began at a very early age when I saw the movie 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I decided I wanted to be Captain Nemo, and I think I pulled it off. In fact, I call my ship the Nautilus. You know, people think that the most important discovery I ever made was the discovery of the Titanic. And actually, that was pretty cool. But it was really discovering a life system on our planet, deep in the dark depths, that replicated photosynthesis in the dark and shows us where life began on our planet. So I think finding the origin of life on Earth was a little more important than finding the Titanic. Discovering the Titanic uh, was really interesting because I had two reactions. Uh, the first reaction was naturally joy. It was down to the last second. I played college basketball and I felt like I scored the winning goal at the buzzer. So we all jumped up and down and, and celebrated. And then someone in the control room said, she sinks in 20 minutes. It was two in the morning. And when they said that, we realized we shouldn't be dancing, we shouldn't be celebrating, that we were at the very spot where it all took place and the mood changed like a wall switch. NGAs played a pretty critical role in my exploration. Well, the important thing to know is the situation you're in. And so using NGA data is critical because you know, we can all of a sudden have weather changes, we can have all sorts of hazards in navigation. So we're constantly making sure we know the situation we're in, because commonly we're in harm's way and we need all the help we can get. My biggest challenge as an explorer is to get someone to bet on my horse. Uh, get someone to actually believe that I can accomplish what I want to do. You know, kids come up and say to me, what are you going to discover next? And I tell them, I don't think you understand the process. I don't know. So I'm always telling kids that my greatest discovery is the one I'm about to make. I love the moment of discovery. I've been fortunate through all my life to go where no one has gone before on planet Earth. It's an honor to have had that opportunity I'm now in my 61st year of going to where no one has gone before on planet Earth. And as soon as I finish this interview, I'm about to go there again.